Hey guys, happy to be for 7499. This is going to be part two of my creating a player chase series. Uh, this is going to be dedicated solely to sorting. Um, if you haven't seen part one, I'll have the link in the description box. But in part one, I showed you a lot of the farms and cards that I had picked up at Nationals. Um, here they are right here, plus some additions that I've gotten from some tubers and some stuff I picked up at the shop and stuff. And I've kind of been right there waiting to uh, get ready to like sort it. I, I sort my cards or my players by year because I'm looking to get every base and insert for uh, every year you know, or everything that was made. So pretty much I'm doing it, I'm doing refractors, everything. So I'm doing it, I'm dividing all my cards out by year regardless of what they are. You can do the same thing. You know, uh, section it off by year, I would recommend, and uh, look for, like, if it's all refractors or all numbered cards or however you're doing it. There's no rules or boundaries to how you collect it. Just, I, I would really suggest dividing it off in years. It's easier to uh, search when we look at the player checklist in, in the next video. That'll be the next, all right? So first, divide all your cards off by the year, okay? So this thing I have in front of me right here is a sorting uh, tray, a collating tray. I haven't seen one of these in years. I, I happened to stumble upon it at my card shop, and uh, I think my shop sold it to me, practically gave it to me, just so he would quit tripping on it. Uh, but these are awesome. Um, you know, back in the day when there was like sets were five, six, seven hundred cards, these were essential to have. I remember having a couple of these as a kid with my dad, and um, what they are is just, it's plastic, and they're little slots, and as you can see, I have the cards in here, it's like a little divot, and um, I've gone ahead and I put uh, blue painter's tape with the year, like this is all 2006, and then so on forth, it starts 92 and it goes all the way to 2011 on, but what I was saying is that uh, these were essential, it's a uh, six by four, so there's 24 slots, if you were doing a set of 600, you would have like this row right here would be all your, you know, 1 to 99. This would be 100 to 199. This would be 200 to 299, so on and so forth as you went. And then you would take these out into stacks. You know, you take all your 200s out and stack them. You take all your 300s out and stack them. And then you would work with just your 100s. And then you would break them down. And then every one was like... This was like all your tens, you know, one through nine or one through nine, ten through <laughs> ten through nineteen, twenty through twenty-nine, so on and so forth. And then you would sort your cards and you would put them in order, and then ha that's how you would collate your set. So, uh, but yeah, these things are like dinosaurs. I like this. I like to call it the sorting monster. The thing is big and bulky, but man, it is so awesome to have. You can set cards like this. You can turn them like this, if you like that view better, or you can turn them on end, like this. So it's pretty awesome, and like I said before, I have them sectioned off at, you know, starting at 92, his rookie year, you know, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 2000, 1, 2, 3, all the way on, and I have no more room right here, 11, I know we're in 2013, but I just kind of stack everything up there and then I collate it when I get these empty I just go back and sort it but uh, I leave spots at the top up here just for dupes these are extras and duplicates this is just um, you know cases for inserts uh, extras uh, I have a note Polly Corvelli rest in peace um, supplies top loaders penny sleeves that kind of thing if I might need it so um, so that's that that's the uh, that's the sorting monster right there and so now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get into uh, I got me a beer <laughs> and I've got some tunes going on and I got uh, I got this and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through I just got this from Jay undefined G20 in a break gold standard numbered out of uh, where is it numbered out of 25 sick and this is 2011 so this will go in the 11. Let's see what year this is. 06, I believe. 08. Leaf Limited. Even if I have dupes, I go ahead and I, uh, I I sort it. And then when I have the duplicates, I kick it out. And then I either give them, I give them away to people who need them for their Farve or Packers Chase, whatever. Or I pr pretty much put them as lots on eBay. I resell it. 
So, uh, or take him to the shop and see what my, uh, my shop has and I trade him normally fars for fars. So, 11, 10, 9, 8. This goes there. Another one from Kyle, 81 Wolfpack. The add back variation. It's awesome when Kyle does this for me too because when he tells me about it, sometimes I overlook stuff like this and now I can look at my checklist and I can uh, I can look for it but this is 2006 turkey red 876 so and then I'm gonna go through the whole thing I know this is 96 uh, Fleer metal I just did ultra so that's there uh, so that's how I'm gonna do it I'm gonna go through this whole box of goodies and sort it out and then in the next video I will have um, I will be showing the player checklist and, and making all sense of what we did when we sorted this. So uh, I will come back. I will show you what the uh, the monster looks like after all these are gone. So uh, so yeah. One more thing I'd like to add before I get into sorting and I get it all put up. I didn't I didn't mention it in the video. Looking back, was how do you really find the year on here? Um, Ninety nine point seven. 99.5% of the time, um, this is going to be the um, the year that it's manufactured. If you can see that, it's the copyright. It's always on the bottom. It's a little print. This one's 1999 right here, upper deck. Um, this one is going to be, let's see, 1993. And I say, let me see if I can find one in here. I say... 99.5 because um, Wildcard is notorious for doing it sometimes on their later products. But um, a lot of the time, like this one says 1993, and it will um, it'll be actually 1994. They copyright and they produced and made the card in 1993 but it wasn't until 1994 that they released it and that's the um that is the uh the year that the card will be even though the card was manufactured this is like a copyright that it was manufactured in 1993 but um it will uh, you'll see that when we get the checklist when we show the checklist it's just like sometimes if you can't find it under 1993 you always got to go back and look at 1994 so i just wanted to show you that that the little copyright on the bottom is always where you find your year for the card, 1993. Put that up there. So that's all I got. So coming back at you with some collated cards. All right, guys, here you go. This is everything collated and sorted out. Like you can see, nothing in there. Um, the monster is uh, full. This is going to keep me busy for a good little while now. So there's some uh, 420s. I keep those in a binder. I'll show you that in the uh, organization when we get to that video. But the next video is going to be the uh, your player checklist and how to acquire a, uh, a Beckett checklist off of their database. So uh, I need to update mine so it'll be all right. And um, I will show that in the next video. And what that's going to do, that's going to be your Bible. And that's going to be everything that you need to go by to uh, sort and make sense of all this. So... Um, so yeah, that's all I got, guys. Uh, once again, if you guys have any questions whatsoever, uh, please PM me. I met a whole bunch of people in comments. Um, you know, um, Jericho I met, huge bench collector. Um, seems like an awesome dude. Wait, 333, awesome guy. He collects Barry Bonds. I found out Magdorn's going to be doing an Ed Bell 4 Chase, plus so many more. All you guys are like, gave me a great response on part one, and I really appreciate this. I hope I'm helping you guys out and doing uh, something different in your collection. So uh, stay tuned. Come back and check out uh, part three. That's going to be our player, check player checklist. Excuse me. Very, very, very important part of this whole chase process. So do not miss it. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you later. Peace.